Folks, I'm going to share a number with you today. The number is £1,219. What does that mean to anybody? Well, it relates specifically to a client case that I looked at this morning. Uh, so this is a client who they came to us to get set up on zero and to um, get themselves up and running on cloud accounting systems. So we have them using zero and receipt bank. Um, and we got the training done and sort of left them to it. They have their own accountant who is going to be doing their um, CIS returns, who's doing their quarterly VAT returns and, and looking at the year end type of stuff. So we really just got the bookkeeper internally to start doing stuff on zero. As it turns out, what has happened since then is the accountant has been preparing and filing the VAT returns. Um, and we found out today that the accountant hasn't been using zero. So the, the data on zero is fully up to date and they have all their supplier invoices coming through the seat bank going into zero. They have their customer invoices um, being sent out from zero. They have their bank reconciliation being done on zero. Um, and from what we could see, and we've been providing them with some support on zero on an ongoing basis, the data is fairly straightforward. It's pretty easy. So there's no reason why the data on zero couldn't have been just simply utilized its full capacity. But unfortunately, not all accountants are they're cloud, not cloud savvy. Uh, they're doing things in a more old school and sort of traditional way. Um, which really sort of almost throws in the bun a lot of the good setup and training that we'd done initially with the client. And they knew that, and they really just decided they wanted to hit, take control of their own VAT return filings. So we agreed to be able to help them to draw a line um, at whatever point the, the accountant has actually filed VAT returns for, um, and then allow them to file quarterly. Now, as part of that process, because they haven't been filing VAT returns through zero, it's going to be important that we compare the information that's been filed with HMRC using basically Excel spreadsheets from what I could see um, to the actual VAT returns being produced by zero. And now the accountant I think was saying that they were using the data on zero to prepare the returns, but from the review that we did, um, that really wasn't the case. What we found was that there has been £1,219 worth of VAT missed on their VAT returns that they can claim back on various invoices. So there was just different types of business expenses um, that they had paid for through the bank account. And for some reason, be it a, a lack of good communication between the client and the accountants, um, that could be part of it. But the failure to use the data uh, and, the, and the reasonably good data that's on zero um, well, is the biggest downfall. Um, we purposely did the exercise to make sure there was nothing amiss. And whilst all the income was fine, the expenses weren't. Not all of the expenses that the company had incurred and paid for were included on VAT returns. Um, and it only took about an hour, an hour and a half today to be able to find that client 1,219 pounds of VAT that they can now claim back on their next VAT return. Um, you know. Folks, that's real money. That's money that's going to be a cost to the business if it's not properly claimed. This is not a government type of return. It is, but the, the, the bottom line is this is money that could be in your bank account. This is going to save you on the VAT that you actually have to pay over to the government. So it's it's a cash flow improvement to the client. So clients are delighted to hear that today. Um, and hopefully that's the type of service that they really need um, as a company going forward. So what I would say is that if you're using zero, make sure you're using it to its full capacity. Um, if you're using zero as a small business, make sure you're working with a zero certified advisor firm um, who know all the ins and outs of what zero does and how, what it should do. You should be getting somebody to check your VAT returns. You know, if you're not a fully qualified bookkeeper, if you're not uh, normally a finance person who knows all the ins and outs of VAT and payroll and so on, you know, work with a firm like ourselves who can offer you that service on a monthly or quarterly basis to keep your data right, to keep you compliant, and to make sure that you're not losing out on £1,219.